Saint-Martin. Préparez-vous à faire la fête. Ce samedi 24 août avec Chris en showcase au district 721. Alléluia ah, la vie qu'on mène. Il nous ambiancera sur le tube de l'été. God bless. J'adore. Il y a un bel visage en prophète. Oh yes, God bless. Il y a un bel visage en prophète. Oh yes, God bless. Réserve ta table et prends ton ticket dès maintenant. Pour plus d'informations, rendez-vous sur District 721 SXM. Late Night Show. Hope everything is okay. Hope everything is all right. I'm your host, Andrew Dick. Okay, dokey kids. Let us tell you about something we call Sid Martin. Um, okay, so we start off with um, the latest information coming from the different political parties. Congratulations, 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 congratulations. We all walk, we all walk, we all walk. Of course, everybody. They don't want to go into um, opposition, obviously. So everybody is trying to behave. Everybody is trying to be nice until they're not. Now, the 21st of September is when the new parliament of St. Martin will be taking office, right? Okay, so for now, the old parliament is still there. The two by four government still exists. Um, the current parliament is there until September 20th, and at September 21st, the new members of parliament will be coming in. As far as the negotiation is concerned, there is different scenarios that are being played out. Of course, they are looking for the most stable one. It makes absolute more sense now that you have a situation where the USM um, feels like, you know, they are the ones who has to decide because of the highest vote getter, um, the DOC with the 1,300 plus votes. So the DOC has um, first dip, so to speak. Um, there is also a scenario that you cannot just ignore, um, which is uh, keeping out the no party and you just have the PFP, the DP and the USM. Okay, so the USM three, the DP has three, that's six. And then of course the PFP, that's how much? That's eight. How much numbers do you need in order to have a coalition? Eight. So um, they can sign an agreement now, but it wouldn't be anything until the new members of parliament are sworn in. And of course, we go through the process of the screening and also the coalition agreement and um, um, the back and forth, the consultations. The process has to start and the, the process has to begin. The governor has um, to decide. I noticed that uh, my good friend Roland Duncan said today in a letter that um, we don't need to go through all of the back and forth. It's very clear. Look, Messalina, you just act like a formateur right now and just form the next government and let me get it going. Uh, it doesn't work like that. That's why we just get in problem every single time, Mr. Duncan, because we tend to always want to skip procedure for, how to say, convenience. You have to understand that we can assume that everything is good at, um, by the little house on the prairie. I don't know if that's the, that's, that's the name of the, the old show, but, we could just assume that everything is great, but negotiations can stall or they don't want to rush or they're looking at different options. We all know that politicians are backstabbing lovely people and they're going to smile to your face and tell you, yes, we have an agreement. And then late hours in the night, they somewhere else negotiating something else. It's whatever benefits the people of St. Martin, not them, the people of St. Martin. Now, um, elections was on Monday. We are on Wednesday now. Um, the silence has kind of started already because the Council of Ministers press briefing was cancelled for today. And you should not be surprised because this ex exact same thing happened during the last election in January. Remember, right after the results came out 
Everybody heard the rumors of the two by four. And then afterwards, and for how many weeks, three, four, five weeks, We've been, you don't hear nothing, you don't know. And he's like, and um, I think Dr. Luke Messalina was then appointed the former chair, and then he started to do negotiations, to find out the candidate ministers, and we all know how that went. And it went back and forth. And I remember going and going and saying, but doc, say something. You said so much things prior to. The man did a national address for a tropical storm, a national address for the safety three times. He did um, for the school opening, and he even Minister of Education. He, <laughs> he did one activating the EOC. He did one um, saying that, you know, St. Martin, let us tell you, let us tell you a little bit about the violence. We have everything under control and police are coming and militaries are coming. The man was in our air. He went on Lady Grace and he also sent representatives on late night. The man was all over with the message of the URSM. And then after elections, So, what do you expect this time around? Maybe because I say it out, they might um, send out something. They did send out a press release congratulating the, uh, the parties and then telling everybody, you know, um, it's not a bad, it's, we, we got this, um, we okay. Um, but everybody is a little bit worried about the veteran um, politicians that did not make it. In particular, the Member of Parliament and leader of the No Party, Christoph Emmanuel. We have a little video that he did, uh, basically stating, you know, that he good. Congratulations to Batman. It was interesting. Take a look. Good morning. Good morning to everyone. Good morning to the people of St. Martin. Yeah, it's been a long night. So I decided to do a live. First things first, I decided to do a live and say to the people of St. Martin, congratulations. Congratulations because we had an election that was free and fair and let me take this opportunity first and foremost to say thank you to the people of St. Martin. It may not be the outcome that I wanted, especially for my person and the no party, but the people have spoken and it's what it is. So there's no time for us to sulk. What it is, it's time for us to congratulate. So I want to take this time to say congratulations to Luke Mercelina and the URSM for their extremely, extremely great showing at the polls. Also to the Democratic Party, led by Sarah Westcott-Williams, congratulations. I'm also saying congratulations to the PFP, led by Melissa Gums. Congratulations. Good job, good showing at the polls. And to the hardest working minister, Lyndon Lewis, you have really, really outshone, shine, and you have done well at the polls too as well. And also for holding on to the one seat of the now party. We have lost one seat, but we are still in the game. So, I'm saying congratulations to everyone. I also want to thank the people of St. Martin for the trust and everything that they have put and faith in me. It just says that you regroup and you start all back over again. So, there's no love loss whatsoever, but just a big love to the people of St. Martin. Thank you all so much for giving me that support. Thank you all so much for blessing the No Party with one seat still to be in Parliament. And I would definitely hope that the Minister of Justice goes back as being the Minister of Justice 
Because as you can see, the people really, really, really resonated with him. The workers really, really believed in him. And from day one, I had no issue whatsoever saying that win, lose, or draw, I will make him the Minister of Justice. And he has done a marvelous job at that. So I'm just here to say to the people of St. Martin, thank you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for keeping us in the game. Thank you guys so much for believing in us. Thank you guys so much for coming out and voting. And yeah, we'll meet up, we'll hook up. And again, congratulations to the Honorable Prime Minister, Luke Mercelina and his team, URSM. Congratulations to the Democratic Party, Sarah Westcott-Williams and her team. Congratulations to Melissa Gums and the PFP. Oh, I forgot. Sam. Yes, Sam. Marvelous. Congratulations to Frankie Myers in getting a seat and also going in to Parliament. Congratulations. And whole and behold, to the whole entire St. Martin and everyone, congratulations. For me, it's good. I'm going to get a little dumb time. When I, when I broke the news to my children this morning... They was like, so daddy, what I mean? We can get to spend more time with you? <laughs> and I was like, yes. Yes. So that too in itself, that too in itself is a blessing for me as well. You know? So it gives you some time to reflect. It gives you some time to recollect too as well. It also gives you some time for the things you should you should work on you should work on and most definitely i will i will be doing that i'm not running going nowhere because that's not my style i'm going down by the barber shop a little later get a little fresh up markup to hit sos radio tonight and like i told the people of Sinatra, i'm always there with them i'm always there for them and i have no intentions on going nowhere whatsoever we have a lot of issues in our country we have a lot of issues to solve and the people have spoken and they have said that you know this is the team who they have voted for but like i said it's never over until the fat lady have sung and the work now begin because we'll see where we go from there and I have never been one with fickle skin. I've never been one to shy away from hard work. You win some and you lose some. And that's what I'm telling my team. Head up, chin up. We are still in the game. But the people, you cannot point your finger and blame the people. They made their choice. They made their decision. I remember having someone saying to me, yeah, okay, um, the white people and them make a decision and the white people and them decided to go in the white. And I turned and I told them, I said, there ain't no white people living in Dutch Quarter. <laughs> there ain't no white people living in 911. You don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have white people living in Fort William. And they voted overwhelmingly. Overwhelmingly for... Dr. Luke Mercelina, South Reward, in the last 20 years, no one has been able to beat anyone coming out of South Reward. So before William Marlin would have held this reign in South Reward for years, he reigned supreme in South Reward for years. And then I came, and for the last three elections, I believe, I held the reign in South Reward. But guess what? I was the second highest vote getter this time around with 51 votes. Luke Marcelina came in with 89 votes in South Reward. So it's clear. It's clear. The people have spoken. And like the young people would say, it's what it is. So it's now to go back to the drawing board and continue pushing on what you believe is best for the country yeah again St. Martin people thank you very much 
for the 200 and plus votes. I really appreciate it. It means a whole lot to me. So it tells me that you have some work to do, refine yourself, change your method. And I think, I think in the last end, I grasp the concept of solution-based and not making your complaints louder than your solutions. So, you know, again, thank you all very, very much to the Honorable Minister of Justice, Luke, no, the Honorable Minister of Justice, Lyndon, Constantine, Lewis, big up yourself, thump your chest, but you got more work to do with your 400 and something plus votes. Much, much appreciated for keeping the no party in the race because you and everyone else know how we built the no party from scratch. We built it from scratch. We built it with our hands. We built it with nothing and nothing from no one. Oh, and the next thing, St. Martin. I mean, yeah, he got a lot of votes. But thank you guys very much. Thank you guys very, very much for keeping Olivia Arundel out of the race. Man, I didn't want to come on the live and, and, and point my finger at the word. I got people here watching me with cross and say, why did you say that? But no, I got to say that. I got to add in a little piece. You guys did well. And I've said it to them. St. Martin people are the kind of people who will come together when it's necessary. When it's necessary. You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. And for that, St. Martin, thank you very much. Congratulations. Big up on yourself. Big up on your chest. And this is our country. We are going to do what is best for our country. Now let's govern. Let's see. Now the chips have fall where they fall. Leave the negotiations start. And we move forward with it. I think the Minister of Justice is doing an excellent job. A little refining here and there. But that can be done too as well. And we are still part of the coalition until the 20th of September when the new parliament will sit. I will not be one of those members of parliament because the Honorable Minister of Justice, Lyndon Lewis, captured the one seat from the now party. I will be second in line in case of anything. Nonetheless, Samantha people is what it is. It was a good ride. I thank you all very, very much. And yeah, I don't, I don't want to stay too long on the live, but I wanted to do it this way. I wanted to do it this way because I wanted the people of Samadhi to see that I'm smiling and I'm a bit relieved because I have some issues to myself that I have to deal with. You know, my, 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 my illness and stuff is, in terms of asthma has come back with a vengeance, but I'm doing pretty well now with it. Oh, and I also gonna get back time now to drop drop back off forty pounds I put on for this campaign. Forty pounds. Yeah. 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 I gotta put on my glasses to read the comments that are coming in. So yeah, so I have some work to do on myself. Okay, so I'm gonna drop off this forty pounds that I put on for the yeah, imagine that forty pounds for this campaign. But I know what to do and I know how to take it off quickly. So I'm going to take my time. So in a month time, I should be back down to my original weight, which is about 230, 225. So I'll try to get back down to that. But yeah, again, Christopher Emmanuel saying big up to the people of Samaritan. Congratulations to all of you guys. You guys did awesome. You guys showed the world that we can go through an election and we have been doing it for many, many years without incident. And I keep saying it, you don't need a military, you don't need an army, you don't need this, you don't need that. Because we know what's good for us. And like I said, yes, Dwight, yes. Let's go hike this weekend. You know what? We want me to meet you. But I don't know if I could do that simply because hell now. I'm going to crank out. I'm going to lay down on the ground and be panting. But we can go hiking somewhere. I'll take my time. Pick a place. I'll put it, I'll put it, we have a hiker's chat, so I'll put it in, and I'll see where we can go this weekend. Shadi, thank you very much, all the best, yeah, 
But I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm still there until the 20th of September. So we'll see how they, how they, how they de decide to negotiate and where we go. Like I said, most likely, if they decide to go with the eight, because they have a majority of eight now, so they don't necessarily need the null party, so they can go with eight. But if they decide to broaden the base and strengthen it a bit, they can also go with nine. And if, we, if they keep Lyndon Lewis as Minister of Justice, I'll be back in Parliament. If not, I'll still be around. So again, to the people of St. Martin, thank you guys very much. Yeah, Shade, long time we haven't gone hiking indeed. So I definitely think we should. I definitely think we should. Yeah. And beach, you know, we haven't done the one going around Bel Air. And then coming over by the horse, by the by the horse stable, and stuff like that, and the one in Grand Cars, so we can at least go to the beach. Long time we haven't done that one, too, as well, you know. So coming back to all elected members of Parliament, congratulations to you guys. Those who's coming in new, which I don't think anyone is coming in new, but for all the members of Parliament who kept, oh yes, 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 who we got coming in new? I don't know. I don't know who's coming in you, but if Grisha goes over to be, well, if she maintains being the minister after the 20th of September, you got Demad will be coming in. So congratulations to Demad Abega too as well. He, 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 he should be coming in as a member of parliament. He should be coming in as a member of parliament when Grisha decides to retain her seat in, in the council of ministers. Yes, Daryl, my boy. Daryl, congrats, bro. Congrats. Congrats to Daryl. He, he really, 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 really ran a good campaign and a clean campaign at that. And we would have our discussions too as well. So I'm saying congrats to, to Daryl for getting into Parliament. Now you're there. Okay? So you'll see how it runs and everything too as well. So Samantha people, you know, again... Let me say congratulations to the Honorable Prime Minister, Luke Messlina and his team, URSM, the Democratic Party led by Sarah Westcott Williams, the chair lady, and the member of parliament, Melissa Gums, PFP. You guys did extremely well. You held your own. So congrats to each and every one of you. Congrats to the Honorable Minister of Justice, Lyndon Lewis, too, as well. Congratulations. Take care of yourself. God bless you guys. Goodbye. We'll be hitting up each other and seeing each other. Take care. Peace. Bye. In other news, um, so OMC strikes again. And they kind, of, they kind of raise my blood pressure. The reason why they raise my blood pressure is because the confusion that Olivier Ariel continues or tries to infuse in St. Martin is, 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 is so evident now. Because before, you would think like, okay, you know what, it's election season. So yes, he gets on, he got to get radical so that he can speak to his base. But when you start to say um, vote rigging and, and it was planned and, and Messalina um, 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 doubled his votes by gathering, gathering it, it um, um, illegally, uh, the bin. Nobody knew what was in the bin already from the voting ballots. And so, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to do a fact checker. I'm going to be right on top of the video. And while he's talking, I, I'm going to deal with that. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to explain to you something. Let me tell you why this election has been rigged. Oh, please tell us. And you guys may think that I don't have people giving me information, but I do I have a lot of information. You don't. 576 votes has been misplaced from my personal name. Remember, in St. Martin, you don't know where the votes go 
and who they go by before they tell them to you on TV. All you know is at the station, they got people monitoring them and blah, blah, blah. No, there's monitoring them. That's literally what it and is. And 76 votes are removed from the count of Olivier Arendel. How's that possible? And the ballots disappear. On the other hand, oh please tell us. Luke Marcelina votes was double. Let me tell you what happened there. People voted. Luke Marcelina got a special assistance. Or oh, from who? And the special assistant is uh -huh. in the bin. You see the bin? It's a garbage bin. No one can see inside the bin. The bins them arrive locked. No one can see inside the bin and they never show you the bin them before you start. The yes, they do. They, they have never. A, yes, they have an inspection period. Like before the polls right? open. So I don't know who they fooling Nobody's or who ain't they fooling. But I know 576 votes must misplace from Olivier Arendel. But I'm not going to tell you how I know. Because if I tell you how I know, then they're going to know that how I know, and then that people of mine can get, get themselves into trouble. trouble. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Wait, Just like on. how Wait. I know that because I'm French. He said because he know that they know, and he don't know, but he knows what he going to know later on. So we know that you're full of shit. Let's continue, please, because I just don't understand. Sarah is French, and Sabine was French, working for the French embassy authorities as well. What? Since when? And gone down by a French citizen, the French government took over the case. It's not true. And the French government and the Constitution of France has a section whereby French citizens will never be extradited to other countries only if that country that they know that the French citizen life will be in danger. What? So via our lawyers, we Wait, have French lawyers. What? What? I told my French lawyer to what? please inform the French authority. And also when the French authority was interviewing me, I told the French authority that, listen, if this guy Charles Berry is transferred over to the Dutch side, he's going to be dead, just like how Preto died down in Curacao. So like I told you guys, 576 votes was misplaced from Olivier Arundel name, ladies and gentlemen. 576. Say it a, a little bit more. Maybe it might be believable. So 576 plus mm -hmm. 346. Mm -hmm. You guys do your math. Under my name personally, you know, 900 and something vote. They took those 576 votes because they don't want Olivier Arendel to get that one seat. In opposition? And Sarah has three seats. Because they... they URSM want. has three seats. <sighs> PFP has two seats, and that's what you call the mulattoes. That's what you call those, the white base people. What? And then they claim that Frankie went and joined them after hearing that it is not true. I doubt and I hope that Frankie does not join the mulattoes, the group of criminals that I know that exists. And then on top of that. On top, please. 576 votes went missing. <laughs> Luke Marcelino double up in votes. Because we know how voted. he double up in votes. Now, the feeling that a lot of you have in society oh, he gonna tell us what the feeling about is. the rigment of the election, Pause. it is a true feeling. Nobody mentioned rigging Olivier ever. Nobody said, like, not even ECE, not even, there was, you know what, Olivier, I have a question. 
last election, when you was part of the No campaign, and you said that Kevin was there because of your endorsement, and then you celebrated with Kevin and Chris and Lyndon and start to laugh and go like two seats. Ka, 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 ka. The people have spoken. Thank you, St. Martin. Was it rigged then? Was Kevin supposed to be there then, Olivier? So if you were elected, thank you, St. Martin. But if you were elected, then they would, there was no rigging. And another thing, fun, fun fact. If you did get elected, let's say, you know, we in hell and you get elected. Okay. And you won out of the 15 people. Please, please, Olivier, tell me as a lone opposition member, which one of the parties you think would work with you? I gonna wait. Because now they are criminals. Please continue. Pete, sorry. It is a true feeling. It's not. So I'm feeling. happy about one thing. That Charles Berry is going to be prosecuted in France. That's a good thing. For the murder of a French woman on Dutch territory. And also the attempted murder of a Frenchman in a Dutch side politician on Dutch territory, and he got captured on French territory, which is, by the way, the brother of Brenda Brooks. Oh, here we go. Which is, by the way, connected to, you know who, Luke Marcelina. So I'm going to be talking about this for quite some time. I can't wait for the court indictment of this gentleman. I'm going to be right there in the courthouse just to make sure a perfect message arrives. Until the next video. No, no, not until the next video. No more videos. 76 votes are missing. Was removed. You could say whatever you want to say. It is what it is. It is Until not. The next video. No. Talk to you later. I will not be talking to you later, Olivier. No. Okay, 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 so hold on, hold on, hold on. I see the logic. It's coming to me. My ancestors talking to me from Suriname. And they're telling me, what? Okay, sorry, just, just say it. Okay, quote. Cool. Okay. Because the, the shooter, the brother is Brenda Brooks. Brenda Brooks is close to Luke Mercellina. Luke Mercerina is the Prime Minister, but he's from Curaçao. That's why the Curaçao government fell today. And then you have to look at the effect that your videos have been making. So then you have to trace it back to Congo. Because then somebody buy a bell in Congo and they ring it at the wrong time. So then it went from Congo to Santo Domingo in the apartment complex you're renting. And then afterwards, the maid didn't come to clean today. So because she didn't come to clean today, she called her friend in Holland. But her friend in Holland is another cleaner who works in the building of the Prime Minister of, Sin of, of, of Holland. So therefore, it's the king's fault. I solved it. Give me my Oranya Nassau thingy right now. I better than Colombo. Because Olivier, because you're from Colby, it means that because you're from Colby, you just take walks on the boardwalk in Phillipsburg. You see how ridiculous that's out? One of my baby brothers is an immigration officer. Does that mean I got special papers?
What? All right. Enough of the nonsense for the day. Late night show with Andrew Dick. Welcome. When we come back, analysis on the different political parties. Jesus. Great job, Carl, thank you. Jeremy, come on up. For the final word in the Spelling Bee Championship, please spell insurance. Insurance, N-A-G-I-C-O, insurance. That's correct. I hope your father can spell Najiko too. Najiko is insurance, insurance is Najiko. Welcome back to the Late Night Show. Let's get into my favorite segment. And that is, of course, the numbers. We start off with the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party. We're going to start off at number 23. Um, Mr. Roberto Akin. Akin Richardson. Um, he he get 24 votes. That's 2-4, 24 votes. Mm. I don't know how much he got the last time, but hey. Uh, Patricia Flanders, 52 votes. Hey, that's still kicking, you know. You need a candidate with 50 votes or more. So you can't even knock on that. Uh, then you have um, Mr. Laurel Cozy with 19 votes. It's his first time, so he gets away. Um, Ms. Grell Davis Ingrid, English girl, the market lady, eight votes. Really? How many market vendors they have? They don't got... I think they got about eight or nine. So that kind of makes sense. Yeah? Okay, no, then mm -mm, you're missing some, Ingrid. You're missing some. But better luck next time. Uh, then we have um, Alexander Gums on the DP list. And that is um, 36 votes. That's pretty good for a first-timer. That's pretty good for a first-timer. Yeah, no, seriously. You don't understand how hard it is to get a vote. Uh, then we have... Mr. Hernandez Espuller with two votes. We, we deal with that yesterday's show. If you didn't watch it, you should watch it. <laughs> 20 polling stations now, guys. Um, then we have um, William Dennis, 15 votes. Then we have um, Adamus Densley, 21 votes. What are you saying, Bempe? Then we have, um, ooh, Michael Sebran. St. Peter stood up for you, man. 99 votes is a real good number. No lie. Like, that is a real good number. It will make me lose sleep because I would want 100. However, very good job with 99 votes. Politics is for you. Mm -hmm. Do you see all that help you help people? It kind of um, 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 pay off. Then we have Oliver Williams, another good promise, uh, promising candidate. Young, so I like the young candidates who put in their hats in the ring. The 30, the 20s, and the 40, 50s, 60s, and up is not a bad thing for a, a first timer. Don't get me wrong. Then we have Mr. Uh, Quincy Rochester, seven votes. Okay, now, Chef, I think it's time. It's time. Chef, it's time. Mm -mm. T for you. Because this is what? The third one or second? Try it one more time, Chef. One more time, but if you get the same on the 10, hang it up. Don't be one of those who keep on going with 5, 3, 2, 5, 2, 1, 1, 1, and say, i doing it for the country. Well, the country don't want you there then. Obviously. Like, you can't say that, okay, it's because of, no, you, you just didn't get it. And you have data now showing that people don't want you as their representative. Done. Then we have... Um, Mr. Richard Panafleck, 13 votes. <laughs> Yo, Richard is gangster. Though. This man been doing elections since I was a kid, and this man is just the same number over and over. Eh? 
10, 15, 6, 7, 9, 10, 8, 20. And he don't care. Richard does not care. He doesn't even campaign. That's how gangster he is. <sighs> Kuntabai, Richard, Kuntabai. Alison Loris, 15. Alison, listen. We joke around a lot. But it's time to retire as a politician and go back to the, no, because that means kind of going to be horrible. No, what you should do is, Al, you should stick to radio. You should stick to radio. You're very good in radio. I don't listen, but you're very good in radio. Okay, Alison Lawrence. Then we have uh, Mr. Essed, 17 votes. Okay, not bad. Mei Ling Chun, um, Derby, 21 votes. Not bad. Uh, then we have Dolores, Dolores, 43 votes. He growing, man. He growing, he growing, he growing. <laughs> Stop being cheap. Maybe you'll get more votes next time. Then we have um, Mr. Bell, Benjamin Bell, 28 votes. Benji is dropping. What's going on? Marinka, the Minister of Finance, kicked some ass with 187 votes, though. And I bet you that's the tax office workers, like, you see them boxes, she clear out, Andrew? Forget you, partner. You know how much nightmares them boxes give us? We voted overwhelmingly for our Minister of Finance, you hear? Okay? So, 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 unless you come and help in them damn boxes, she came and helped on the bit of boxes, and now she get 187 votes. Suck it. I said, okay. DP, they heard you. Of course, um, MP elect and current MP, Mr. Viran Kutai, 339 votes. It's official that he is the new cookie. He is now um, going to be dubbed Biscuit. I'm calling him Biscuit from now because we had cookie already. I can't call you Young Cookie. Young Cookie sounds weird. Like, nah. Biscuit, welcome to Parliament again. First, he was a, a seat warmer. Now, you're full MP. Congratulations, Biscuit. It's so hard for me to say it with a straight face. And like when I see him, I'm going like, Biscuit! Yo, Biscuit! What's going on? And I know Biscuit's so good, he's going to be like, What are you saying? <laughs> All right, up next we have um, uh, Khalil, Raven Khalil, 91 votes. Khalil drop a little bit, but still maintain. So, you know, Khalil, maybe if you stop doing so much of creature work in the cabinet, you could actually, you know, do your own thing so that people can recognize that it's you doing a bunch of things instead of, you know, just, just some dumb advice. I don't know nothing. Then we have um, Dima Labega with 133 votes, kind of pretty much the same, you know, nothing too much, nothing too lavish. And then, of course, Krisha Heliger Martin cut some anti Sarah ass, and that is with 477 votes. And Sarah Westcott Williams, the founder of St. Martin, received um, 390 votes. I would like to say that the St. Martin people are very ungrateful because how is it that you are not going to vote overwhelmingly for the person that is responsible for everything in St. Martin? The first school. She was the first principal. She was the first doctor in St. Martin. She was the first Romy worker. She was the first security guard. She was the first police officer. And then she became the first prime minister. And then when she became the first prime minister, she became the first lunch researcher and then investigated herself. Commitment? Sarah stands strong. That's the Democratic Party. <laughs> I tell you, you know, one, one day she's going to give me a bad word, and listen, I'm going to take it, because I deserve it now. <laughs> because <laughs> Auntie Sarah goes, I'm tired of your shit. I was walking the other day, and I saw Auntie Sarah was campaigning, and she red shirt walking in Back Street. 
and somebody drive by and say, Auntie Sarah! And she was like, hey! I thought you didn't like the name Auntie Sarah. You're welcome. All right, ECE. We have, uh, of course, the leader with 129 votes. Um, and Ando Gums with one. <laughs> and then we have um, Arnold Door with seven votes. Better not, better, better luck next time, guys. Better luck next time. ECE keep pushing. Wiggly, you don't know. You know, keep that microphone hot and ready because you never know. This is St. Martin. It's supposed to be a real place, but it's not. The party with the most katas in the last century, <laughs> in the last, I don't even know how to put it, National Alliance gets some licks, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez. I've never seen, I've never seen a destruction of a party. I guess when they were left up, yeah. But this was a massacre. Like National Alliance. Oh, you didn't listen to me. Give it to Duran. No, we solid. Give it to Duran. No, we good. Give it to Duran. Little boy, wait your turn. We're going to let you know when we're ready. So you ready now? Number 17. <laughs> we have one of the most attractive, um, you know, candidates that I've seen in a long time. And I think that Miss Kalita guy, you need to come on the show and thank the 17 voters that... Um, put confidence and um, I, I just want to make space for you so you could come sit next to me or you could sit um, next to me any any place you want and then we could uh, you know talk about the struggles of the campaign because the whole time I'm gonna be like yes you're right this is the first time ever are you going to see Andrew like and we shouldn't be in government I'll be like we you are Okay, yes, you're right in front of me, so no problem. I can always edit it. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations for the first time, um, Kalita. You, you, you get 17 votes. I was so mesmerized that I made a mistake. It's uh, 57 votes, actually. Not like Pete, you could imagine. I give her 17. 57 is a big deal. What? So I, I think you need to thank the 57 voters, um, Kalita. So, you know, the late night is here for you. Okay, just send us a message. If you need my number, just ask Sylvia for it. She has it. Okay. Um, next up, we have the number 16 candidate. Um, that's Louis Hertholt, four votes. <sighs> he kept it real by with he four votes. Kenny Foston, 12 votes. Then you have Terrence Ray, 12 votes. Um, Hernandez Shamira, 20 votes. So at least Brenda know if she run. She going to get a little, at, at least a little bit more because her lookalike is doing good so far. A bunch of people saw Brenda the other day and said, Brenda, I voted for you. Congratulations. And Brenda was like, I, I didn't run. What are you talking about? I, I didn't run. Yes, on the National Alliance. I'm the president of URSM. What are you talking about? So who that girl is? She tell me she, she Brenda Brooks and if I can vote, she under the name Hernandez. Really? Anyway, then we have um, Mr. Alan Connor, 34 votes. You could do better. Build and go again. Okay? Then we have Heisen, Richard, uh, Heisen Richardson, that's brother, 104 votes. It looked like they kept a good man down, Pete. That was his slogan. Can't keep a good man down. They kept him down. Um, and then we have um, Curtis Thomas. I was feeling for Curtis the whole night uh, during the, 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 on Monday when the presenter was like stressing on Curtis's zero. It's like, geez, you got to get more in the communities, Curtis. Um, then, of course, I didn't like this one. Shamila Webster, she got 112 votes. She could do much better because she went hard. She, she had an ex excellent campaign, one of the best. I've, saw, I've, I've seen a bunch of campaigns, but she had a really good campaign. You know, she had, her message was on point. She was different. She was doing series on, on Facebook. She was um, engaging. She was going to the um, different neighborhoods. Uh, she was building a, a, a village, and then the village aimed vote for her. 
No village around here, miss. It's hard in the streets. Now, let me wait until the military convoy passes so I can go and vote, so I can go and vote for the person who sent the military convoy. <sighs> then we have uh, the number eight, Angelique Rumo, 108 votes. Angelique, Shamila Webster, who just, this is her second campaign, get 112 and you get 108 and this is your 19th election. Angelique, groom somebody else, no man. Groom somebody to, like, I think people are just like, they just want something different. Clearly, because 102 people vote for somebody else. But of course, they needed your numbers, so I understand. Anna Elaine Richardson received 142 votes, and I know she must be upset. Why? Because <laughs> Batman was like, who? Who's that? The former Minister of Justice, who? I'm sorry, Andrew. I'm too busy listening to my results. 20, 30, 40. 20, 30, 40. Don't talk to me if you don't got more than 150. And she get 142. When she get 150, maybe she could talk to me. Okay, Mr. 170 something that he was always getting now. He's in the 400, so you know. He and things. Then we have um, Edsel Gums, first time. Very good, Edsel, 105 votes. That is very good. At least you have a base now. You say, okay, so Edsel Gums is good for 100 votes at least. That's how you build a base, because you didn't know before. Now you know. You know you know who's real. Now you know who's just lied to you and said they was going to support you, and they didn't. So at least you know your base. That's what's important. Because that means any party you go, meaning run, nigga, run. Don't stay. <laughs> but anyway, any party you go, you can actually, um, they'll actually take you because you got 100 votes. All right. Um, let me see. Next up, we have um, Daryl York with 312 votes. Did excellent. And now he is a MP elect. And then we have um, Cloyd on the Marlin, 272. The Marlin dynasty is gone. Rough though. I don't say Martin going to look. I mean, they, life continues, but yeah. Now, of course, Onde is still young as far in the political field is concerned because this is just his second election, so he can regroup, build back, and come back stronger for the next election. But yeah, the dynasty, no more. All right, then we have Adrian Erian, 305. Oh, shame on those 305 people that voted for this man. I don't understand how are you to still believe in this shot. Lovely man who always supports the late night. I got you, Archibald. I got you. I see you. Good job, MP elect. Then we have um, Egbert Duran, 361 votes. Mr. Solid. Egbert Duran had a point to make. And the point was very simple. I'm going to stay and play along with your circus, but know that this is going to be my circus after the 19th of August. Who's the highest vote getter on the National Alliance? I can't see. Because Doran gone with it. <laughs> The man is relentless. And of course, you have the leader, Sylvia Jacobs, 283 votes, um, and was shy away to get a seat because Artwell get more votes than Sylvia Jacobs. What world are we getting into? I'm going to miss my silly. <sighs> this parliament is going to be interesting. <sighs> All right. Let's take a commercial break. We'll come back more later. No worries, cause you know we got the sweetheart deals. It's summertime. Uh, uh. Let me tell you where it's going down. But a world in cool bay, come on down. Uh, let me tell you when it's going on. August 31st, better write it down. So many cars for you to see. Changan Hyundai GAC. Bring a friend, bring your family. First monthly payment free. Hot deals. Oh, oh.
The Motor World Hot Summer Car Show is going down Saturday, August 31st with on-the-spot financing from RBC Bank and Windward Islands Bank. Receive up to $4,000 off, your first monthly payment free, and a free gift like a 50-inch Samsung TV with your purchase. Plus, 100% financing is available. No down payment required. Check out Motor World's website and social media pages for more information. Welcome to the National Institute for Professional Advancement, where dreams meet education. At NEPA, we offer nine exciting programs to help you reach your full potential. From our state-of-the-art culinary program, where you can master the art of cooking, to our hospitality program, preparing you for the dynamic world of service. Our electrical installation technician program offers hands-on experience and practical skills for a bright future. Our ICT program is designed for the digital age and our general property maintenance program helps you craft a solid foundation in construction. Plus, gain real world skills in our automotive technology program with day and evening classes and validated certifications. Join us at NEPA, where your journey to success begins. Enroll now. Welcome back to the Late Night Show. Let's continue with uh, the URSM, the URSM, the URSM. All right, so let me start off with number 15. We have um, Emer Glensley with 10 votes. Um, then we have Paco with 29 votes. Not bad, young man. Keep it moving, keep it going. Uh, Miss Stainman with 13 votes. Give it up already, please. You did, like, so much elections, and you keep on, you can't reach 20. Why people still putting her on the list? Like, clearly, the Chinese people ain't voting for her. Clearly. Like, nobody wants to say it, I'll say it for you. Stop the man. Leave the woman do her business in peace. How oh, you just voted her on the list for no reason? I understand the base and the professionalism and so on. Okay, great. But has she ever done an interview anywhere? Any, anywhere. Think about it. When last have you, start, ha have you seen an interview anywhere with Miss... Yo, so Steenman. And yes, you could be smart and go like, <laughs> we're going with the Chinese votes because there's a lot of them there. Clearly, they ain't voting for her. Then we have uh, 12, Miss Felicia Brooks, 42. Never seen her in my life. Never. But uh, I guess 42 people was like, you know what? Felicia is the one, whatever she does. Okay. Then we have um, Hutchinson Delano, 23 votes. <laughs> he, he got gone, so I ain't going to make fun of him. Yeah. Mm -mm. He got gone. He's a, he works security. Indeed. Yeah, he's, he's dangerous. No, I'm not, I'm not dangerous, but you know, he got gone. Basically, law enforcement. I don't mess with law enforcement. <laughs> Let's go to number 10. Samasal Michel. Um, 16 votes, Michelle. Ah, oh, nah. And then, of course, Mr. Simpson, B. Peterson, Joseph received 15 votes. I don't know why they just do this to themselves. Let's move on to, we have Mr. Matthew Jason, 34 votes. I don't even know why he still continues to go, but this is his what, second election, so hey, whatever, it, it might get better, better. Richard Albrecht, 227. That's what you call an MVP right there. And then, of course, Ms. Arena Gracita, 52 votes. Gracita, Gracita. At least you're going back, Holland. Godspeed. Then we have um, uh, Shamira Roseberg with 208 votes. Shamira, up at Nipperture. Up at Nipperture. 
Then we have um, Chris Rock and AKA Mr. Um, Herbert Martina. <laughs> I saw Herbert for a voting day and he was like, he saw me. So he see, I see him, he watched me, I watched him and he was like, <laughs> like he won't tell me, keep my name out of your fucking mouth. But I'm too fast, so he can't slap me. Uh-uh. He ain't gonna reach me because the moment he come close, I say, hey! Hey, say that. Stay there, stay there, stay there, stay there. I don't want you to come close. <laughs> Number three, we have Veronica Webster, Janssen, 150 votes. This is hard for me, Veronica. This is very hard for me because I don't do this, Veronica. But congratulations. <laughs> because 150 votes. Remember, I trip on you so much for the last election. I say you, did, you, you, shouldn't, you don't deserve to become minister because look at the votes that you have compared to the others on the list. And Veronica, like, yeah, 150? Hush my mouth, boy. I quiet. Veronica, I got nothing to say. And of course, Waver Works, number two. I don't know why this guy is number two. You know, Chris is my boy. But Chris. <sighs> anyway, 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 anyway. 54 votes. Like, they don't go by the votes. They just go on the loyalty. I don't know if that's a good thing. Uh, and then the number one. Like, imagine if I get five votes by the deputy leader. So you got 1,300 votes, Andrew Dick, two votes, Veronica Janssen, 150, Her Her Herbert Martina, 52, Roseberg, 200, Grasita, 52, uh, uh, Richard Albrecht, one, so, so it goes up and up and up and up, and then I is number two. And that Dr. Luke Messalina carrying the entire list on his back. The doc is here. I need a doctor. Give me a doctor. <laughs> it's a song. Google it. Uh, 1,315 votes. Uh, the electorate has spoken and made him the highest vote getter. By far. Like he smoked them all. Like gone. So the people want a surgeon as the prime minister. Who are we to say anything else? Say Martin crazy. Yes, I'll say it. What? Please. Anyway, we should be having an interview with the Prime Minister next week. Hopefully he comes this time and doesn't send his henchman. In any way, we'll still take the henchman. But Dr. Luke Messerina, come on and say thank you very much to the people that voted for you on the late night. We just drag you, but we'll be nice. We promise. We'll meet at the undisclosed location. <laughs> All right, we'll do the rest tomorrow. Of course, that does it for the late night show. Until tomorrow, do have a safe and pleasant one. Don't forget to like and subscribe um, our late night page on YouTube and also on uh, our Facebook page. And shout out to TV15. Make sure you subscribe to them on YouTube and Facebook. Follow their stuff. All right, bye-bye.